Hi guys, and welcome to Jamie Loving All Seasons. Today we're gonna do a decorate with me. As you guys can see in the background, I did a couple of the items that I feel like will be a little easier off camera, which is these leaves weaving them in and out. But I wanna just start by saying thank you to all of my new old subscribers. You don't know what it means to me that you guys keep coming back and watching this silly, crazy lady. Um, it means the world. This is my outlet. I love doing it. I love sharing, decorating, and shopping hauls and shop with me's with you. If you are new and you just so happen to stop by, I love all those things. And I love fall. I know my old time subscribers are getting tired of probably hearing that, but I do. I love fall because of so many reasons. And I'm gonna show you guys what we'll be using for the coffee bar. I do kind of go through and try to set it up a little bit beforehand because you guys, I am so indecisive that we would be here for three hours trying to do this film, this video. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna tell you why and what I was thinking. So that way, hopefully it'll inspire you for a coffee bar, whether it's on a wall, in a hutch, a little tiny small area. Maybe you pick up something from mine so you can use into yours. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, these are the items we're gonna be using for the coffee bar decorate with me today. So yes, I do somewhat set it up so you guys don't see the crazy madness and hot mess that I deal with beforehand. So we have all my burgundy mugs. I know I want up there for sure. Some couple signs. We got our little Mrs. Myers. I have some ribbon, and you'll see why and what I'm thinking I might do with that. Um, my little scarecrow, couple other mugs, my extra mugs to have underneath there, my fall related mugs, food coma, hello fall, caffeine with that in there my syrups, my cozy canister, some stirs, uh, a book here, so some pumpkins. This is what we got, and this is what we're going to use. This is the blank slate. As you guys will notice, my sign is gone right now. I am in the process of painting it and trying to use my Cricut to make a sign. I did go ahead and put the garland on just because I think doing that on camera will be hard and messy. I also went ahead and put the little lights. We'll turn those on so you guys can see. I got my baskets. I put this on here. I already wiped the top one off. As you can see, they are empty down here. So this is where we're gonna put all the items. This is actually just a Dollar Tree scarf, but it's perfect for this little bitty table to give it a little bit of fall appearance. Uh, so that's what we're working with, and we will get started. Okay, we're gonna get started now that you guys have seen kind of what we're working with, the empty area. I think I'm gonna go ahead and figure out, cause I already know I want my burgundy mugs up here. So just so you know, these are from the Dollar Tree. I actually added a couple of these nicer leaves to them. They're a little bigger. It was from something else I had to beef it up. But what you can do for the Dollar Tree is get two, wrap them together, make it a little thicker, um, 
And then I decided to just leave this one empty because I feel like it is a lot, but it's pretty. And I think if I were to go ahead and put the leaves through here, it would be too much and you probably wouldn't even really see the mugs. All right, so I have three of these taller mugs, which I have the cozy, thankful, and apple cider. So these taller mugs I'm going to put on the bottom. And no rhyme or reason. And what I do when I put these little lights on in here, because I do use these mugs right off of my coffee bar. It's not like they're just there for decoration. I like to use them for, I like to use them throughout the season. But what I do is I will put the little uh, lights in there. So if I ever put lights, which I was thinking about maybe putting lights on everyone. So far, I'm just sticking with this and see how I like it. That is one thing I do. I don't know if you guys do this while you're decorating. I live with something for a little while. And then if I don't like it, I change it up. You know, I overthink decorating a lot, and I know a lot of us do, but the whole point of decorating is to have fun. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have fun. On the top row here, what we're going to do is the shorter ones. I have Cuddle Weather, Coffee Break, and Autumn Vibes. Still looking for the sweater. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's okay. So Autumn Vibes, I'm going to put here, and what these are on, just so you guys know, is little like S hooks. Now, I bought this set with the little baskets from LTD Commodities. So if you guys are interested in something like that, it was pretty reasonable. But I will say, you can go to Home Depot, get these, and buy the S hooks. So you don't have to order it through them. So we'll put coffee break here and cuddle weather. I love that cuddle weather. So far, so that's how we're looking. We're going to go down to these little baskets here. And on the baskets, what I typically like to put is some decor. Or sometimes I'll put my um, syrups, things like that. What I decided this time is I usually have a little basket or a little thing that hangs here, but I decided to use this mug because I really wanted to use it. Um, so I decided to just put my all my little stir straws. I love buying the paper ones because that's how I stir my coffee. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the basket here. And it just makes it a little more festive. And you can always find all kinds of holiday straws at the Dollar Tree, at Target, Walmart, all over. Um, Hobby Lobby, I think, even carries them. What else I was thinking is maybe a pumpkin because we have the harvest right there. So these little lids from Ray Dunn. The topper. Someone told me these are actually to keep your coffee warm. I didn't know that, guys. I have, comment below if you've ever used that to keep your coffee warm. So I like to use them for little risers. So I'm going to put that right here in the basket. I love using just little leaves, things like that, to kind of decorate. Just like how I like to use the greenery. Now, you know what? We're going to go with a brighter leaf. So we're going to do this leaf right here. And I just place it in there to set this little pumpkin on it. And it's not that too bright orange like how I was saying for Halloween, the difference, and then for my fall. All right. Next, we're going to... And I think that's going to be it for that. Very simple, but, and I will definitely bring you guys closer. Um, bear with me. Decorating videos are not 
easy. The women that do it all the time, you guys are amazing. So, also, what I was thinking for this next one, I love using this. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's just like a little cutting board. And I had a little tag that was from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Um, and it says thankful. I just hung that on top of there. Sometimes I like to put a little decal, a sticker, something. So we're going to put that here and kind of angle it. Now, I'm thinking another riser. Well, I use it as a riser. And we're going to set that there with one of these little houses. Let's see if I, oh yeah, it still works. This was Hobby Lobby as well. I love using the little houses that they have for, a lot of times they bring them out for Christmas and things like that. But we're gonna put another little leaf. These leaves, by the way, were from the at-home store. And if you guys could really see them, they look real. I love them. I got them last year in big bundles, and they don't have them this year. All right, so that's it for this, I'm thinking. This is how we're going to stick with this. Ah, everything starts to fall. We're going to play maybe a little more, because even though I set things up, I always forget how I do it, and then I go back and do it again. All right. So that is it. Now we're going to move on to the table here. All right, as for the table here, next to the Keurig, I have this cute little sign. This was $5.99 from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they still have this. I got it last year, but it says Pumpkin Spice Coffee Bar Enjoy. So I figured that will go right there next to it. And let's see. I grabbed a book this year. I thought this is cute. Um, I've had this book. I use it all the time for decorating. And it just says, and the good news is. So I think that's a cute little saying for a book to be sitting in this area. I'm going to use one of my beautiful velvet rust color pumpkins. We're just going to set that here. And because I want to use my topper mug, my pumpkin love, I want that here. But on the inside, nah, maybe. We'll put that on the outside. And we're going to put two pretty leaves here. Just to kind of look like it's like an autumn setting. Get around, getting ready to sit down, have some coffee, read your book. All right, now we're getting to the lower shelves. All right, so now we're down here on the ground. And yeah, you can see the coffee um, cord, but that's okay. Uh, I told you when I bought this little thing, it was perfect for this area, but I would not recommend people to get it. It's kind of cheaply made. I did buy this from LT, LTD Commodities and it just is not the greatest but it's perfect for my area so I just kept it. Um, I'm just going to wipe these off again. I kind of did but with woofy around. Stuff like that happens. So, with Whoopi around, the hair just flies, even when he's not supposed to be in the kitchen. Okay, so I have this two-tier tray that I have from Target. You know what, we're going to wipe this off as well. This was that $5 tier tray. I think they had this out in maybe last year or in the spring so what I was thinking on that is this little happy fall and it I just love those colors to bring in the burgundy I mean the burnt orange 
I'm going to stick that in here and kind of press it underneath. Now, I know I want to put some leaves to boost the color here. And I have this little bitty house. These are from Target. You guys can pick stuff up like this all the time from Target around Christmas time, even in the fall. Um, Dollar Tree sometimes will have little pieces, not quite like that, but something. So that we're going to put there. Then I'm going to use this other little velvet pumpkin. And we're going to kind of center that to the other side. No, we'll do this way. And we're going to throw a little leaf here as well. And I like using this little cup. Now that's just a sticker that I stuck on there. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was cute with it being a coffee bar. Now... My cozy, I put my Keurig mug, I mean my Keurig cups in there. And then this is going to go on this shelf here. Just like that. To bring that burgundy down into here. Usually what I do with this, with my extra mugs, and that I somewhat want displayed for that season it just goes in this area and it's perfect because it sits right on that shelf evenly all right now I have this little guy and what I did I put rice in there to set him up a little higher this is from Dollar Tree and this is the harvest that we that my friend sent me we're gonna set him right there I have this little cider uh, spice cider I think I'm gonna set this on this shelf kind of in between it does have a lid I think I was washing it from being put away so we'll put our little syrups because I do like to use those all the time I have two of these mugs, but I used one today. This was from Dollar Tree. Isn't it beautiful? And we're just going to set this down here. I'm thinking I might put a little decal on there. Um, and then we're going to place some little leaves throughout. Just to give it a little bit more festive. Let's see. And I like to do leaves um, contrasting with the different colors. So we'll put like a light green there. We'll maybe put one more up here. And I just plug things in, you know. It never, as for leaves and floral and stuff like that, and then that other mug will go right here. And that is it, you guys. It's just that simple. And I know we like to overthink things. But this is how it will be. And in the home tour, hopefully I'll have my sign done. And you can see what I put on there. All right. What I wanted to show you is what I did was I tied a little bow on the ends. Just to give it a little bit of a finishing touch for... The little scarf I may make this one a little shorter like I did the other one and I just think it makes it look a little more finished a little cuter so this is the finishing prod product and like I said there'll be one more of those cups right here but I used it today and as you guys can see, I used a lot of items from Dollar Tree or I had around my house or from Hobby Lobby. You don't have to have anything fancy to have a nice little coffee bar, make it feel festive for the holidays. You know, have fun with it. 
And I love that I've done this now. I know my husband at first was like, oh boy. But I love it, you guys. I enjoy my coffee every day, whether I make it with our Ninja coffee or my Keurig now. So that is it for this. And like I said, once I get that sign done, So next year I decided that I will do Halloween first, fall after, because putting all this out and then tearing it all down, I may leave the leaves for Halloween, not sure yet, but this area will be changed out, my mantle will be changed out, my entryway will be changed out, but I do have a fall home tour coming. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to do the decorate with me. I have some videos of the front door. Very simple. And the mantle. Very simple. So those we'll be doing together as well. But I'm going to say farewell. Have a wonderful day. A great week. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you next.